Hucknall, Fortescue, Telstra and CSL. Let's go now to Julia Lee for a wrap of the week and a look at the week ahead. Helen, the softer China import numbers that we saw earlier on in the week really set the tone for a week a week on the Australian share market. In the end, though, we saw some better than expected China numbers coming out on Friday. The second quarter GDP numbers in line with expectations at 7.6 percent. The retail sales numbers better than expected and industrial production in line with expectations. But that wasn't enough to save the week's performance for the week. The Australian market saw a loss of 1.8 percent. Once again, we saw the growth areas being sold off so the materials the energy industrial and the discretionary sectors all lost ground materials was the worst with a loss of 6.4 percent that was followed by the energy sector which lost 4.8 percent it was definitely a risk off week because we did see the defensives doing extremely well once again we saw the telecom sector up by 2.6 percent the utility space up by 1.4 percent in fact if we have a look at those companies which made 52 week highs this week they were defensive areas. We saw Telstra reaching a 52-week high. Westfield also hit a two-week high. Credit Corp, Ramsey Healthcare. On the flip side, those companies making a 52-week low were mostly the miners. We saw Integra hitting a 52-week low after a capital raising. Whitehaven Coal, St. Barbara Mines also hitting a 52-week low, as did APN Media. Volumes were absolutely dismal and that's partly because the school holidays have been on. In fact, we haven't managed to crack that $4 billion traded mark any day this week. But with school holidays now at an end, brokers will be hoping that volumes will be back to more normal levels next week. Next week, in terms of the Australian domestic market, it's a big week for the miners. We start getting quarterly production reports from the big miners. We see uh, Rio Tinto and Fortescue kicking it off on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we'll see BHP coming out with its quarterly report. And then on Thursday, it will be time for the energy space with Santos and Woodside Petroleum coming out with quarterly reports. In the US, it's going to be once again uh, the focus on earnings week. And we see more than 50% of S&P